Good evening, I'm Rob Wilson, and this is the Eurodollar Market Preview for Tuesday, the 8th of May, 2012. And going into tomorrow's market, I am a buyer of any strength down at 130.35, and I'm a seller of any reversals from one anywhere really between 130.80 and 132.20. If you want to understand why that is, then hang around, we'll get into the detail. Okay, let's look, uh, let's start, let's start off on the um, on the one-hour chart to review today's price action, and as we, you know, as we as we predicted, frankly, in in yesterday's preview, there was always a possibility of a the strong possibility of a of a pullback following this overextension to the downside on the combination of um, French and Greek election news. So, what does that mean? Well, look, you can see that um, you know. Price is currently stalled at a fairly reasonable point of of resistance right here, you know, the 130.50 to 130.60 touch, and you can see the line that traces the bottoms with these tops here. So that's its first, you know, sort of task in the immediate term. Above that, we've got, um, you know, more resistance at 130.80, and for me, the bullish bias doesn't really, you know, disappear until we get above 132.21 and it's quite possible that um, you know we'll challenge this sort of area uh, tomorrow you know today's daily pivot obviously hasn't been tapped yet and it's a, a useful target right up in this area and after an overextension to the downside like this it wouldn't be uncommon for price to, to make its way back up to the other side of the uh, of the trending channel so you know what do I see going on here? Well, there's there's two scenarios really. Um, there's two scenarios that I see. The first is that um, is that the election news presented you know bulls with an unprecedented opportunity to buy this pair cheap, and that's what's been going on today. We could be seeing you know the makings of a classic V reversal, which will down which will reverse this downtrend and, and you know just keep heading north. However, you know I wouldn't be surprised if 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 on the way up we saw a retracement um, and just gathered really gathered energy for a, for a leg two, and that for me happens down at the one thirty thirty five area, so I wouldn't be at all surprised to see this pair you know drop back overnight maybe or come back down early in in, um, in the European session, tag one thirty thirty five before continuing um, on on a second leg to retest the upper side of this channel. You know, I may be completely wrong here, and we may just burn through overnight. But you know, that's the market as I see it. If we get back down to 130 again, you know, that's another um, you know support, you know, stroke long opportunity. Um, but you know, much below that, then we 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 really are into the continuation stakes, and an even steeper uh, trend line will have uh, formed by that stage. Okay, what have we got in the in the way of news tomorrow? Well, uh, it's a French bank holiday tomorrow. Um, you know, London hasn't had a say yet, obviously on on the on the current state of affairs today, and they will get a chance tomorrow. But uh, for answer away uh, for bank holiday tomorrow, then we've got some Australian numbers at five thirty. Fairly major numbers, though, so that's got you know uh, market moving potential from the dollar perspective. Then um, 0600 um, figures from Europe, eight fifteen some housing starts out of Canada. Then eight thirty. Um, you see, the president Draghi's uh, got some words to say, which which may either you know may, may put a fire under the market. Who knows? And some minor figures at uh, ten EST. So there's a fair bit going on there. Just be aware of those times when you're trading. Okay, so what does it all mean to us as short-term traders? Well, I still see us as within a pull, you know, in in the, in the middle of a pullback within a bear trend. Okay, and that remains underway. Above price, we've got structural resistance at 130.80 and 131.20, and below price, support at 130.35 and 130 even. News, as I said, we've got the French bank holiday um, tomorrow, then numbers at 5.36, 8.15, 8.30, and 10 EST. So what about a plan then? Well, look, you know, no bias really as a short-term trader going in. You know, I note that this pullback is capable of a second leg, uh, so we're going to be trying, trading just as we always do from well-defined support and resistance. I'll be looking very carefully if we get down there at 130.35. That's a possible sort of, you know, um, support area which may come into play tomorrow. And then above price up at 131.20, much above that, and we sort of destroy existing chart patterns and we have to, you know, sort of look again. 
but in this, just to re-emphasize then, a pullback within a bear trend, so still bearish in bias, I'd still rather be selling than buying, but you know, um, I do know that this pullback's only gone for one leg and it's been fairly steep, so you know, we could be, there could be more, more pain for the bears in store tomorrow. I hope that helps get some sleep. If there's anything to say, I'll update at 0300 EST on London Open. Uh, otherwise, trade safe. Wilson out.